What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and Happy New Year to you all. So starting off with the new year, I picked up this guy. Right after Christmas, I saw it, it was on sale. I picked it up. So this is a 124 scale pine cone model. Four wheel drive, four by four, 124 scale die cast metal body. So apparently it says it's a die cast metal body. We will find out, but it's a 124 scale. And it is, it does come ready to run. Here's all the specs on it, four by four. And we all know what type of truck this is. So, without further ado, let's open this guy up. Let's open this guy up and see what this thing's all about. All right, so in the box is empty. But in the box, you do get the vehicle. You get your controller. Battery. And your operation manual. So I had been seeing this thing on Amazon for a while. And I figured, let me get it. So I picked it up. I got it on uh, on Amazon. Ooh, God, this thing's got some weight. Oh, so hey, in the package you get some more things here. Tool, Velcro. Okay, you get you get another battery. And you get a battery charger. There we go. Awesome. So I think that's it, that's everything that comes in the box. Um, so like I was saying, so I have seen this thing. I saw this thing on Amazon and it really piqued my interest. I'm like, mm, I, I, let's, let's see what this thing's all about. So I had to pick it up, I had to. So let me get you guys off the tripod here. This thing definitely has weight. The suspension don't seem too bad. But she's definitely heavy compared to the SCX24. Looks like wheel is. So the SCX24 is a little bit longer from wheel to wheel. But move that guy out of the way. But this thing just looks awesome. So this does have. Oh, here we go. So the back door does open up, as you guys can see, that is where the battery gets connected to. Your on off switch is on the back there and this rear door is actually spring loaded. So that's spring loaded. You have the rear door opens up, the front door opens up. Check out the interior on that guys. There's your exhaust, there's your interior. Here is the motor. And here we go. Okay. Check it out, check it out.
All right, so we all know, we all know what this is. <laughs> Especially with the B here in the front, we know exactly what this thing is. I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. It seems the back here is, it, I, the shocks look kind of cool on there though. They're not plastic, I don't think, but it should, I'm guessing it could use some bigger, uh, like have your springs on it, but not too bad, not too bad. There's a uh, steering on there, freak brakes, rotors. Now the hex nut compared to the SCX24, you can clearly see a difference in the hex the wheel nut that's 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 big <laughs> compared to the SES 24 that's big these tires they got meh. I mean it's not it's not a true off-roader um, this is more of a mall crawl type of car but we are going to take this guy out and see how this thing does. Uh, let's throw a battery in here. Let's throw a battery in here. Let's see if the lights will shine up. And before, actually, before I start that, I want to go to the control. So you guys have seen this controller. You guys have seen this controller before. And if you say you haven't, you definitely have. So, I think this one's for my RGT 136240. And it's almost, about almost the same thing. All right, so let's throw a battery in here. It's probably not fully charged, but I just want to Throw a battery in there. See what the lights look like on this thing. And here you go, guys. So you got, hold on, let me turn off this light here. It's gonna be a little darker. So you got blinking lights there in the back. You got headlights. Heh, these little fog lights down here come on also. Um, so there's other fog lights here up top here as you guys, you guys can see. So there's lights there, there, and this whole light bar here. Um, I mean, everything, all these lights are probably blinking just for the main fact that I don't have a battery in the controller. So let me throw a battery in the controller real quick and get back. All right, so something I just found out about this controller. I thought it was about the same thing as the RGT and the Enduro 24 scale from Element. Yeah, so I thought it was about the same thing, but it's really not. So this one takes double A batteries while the RGT and the Enduro take triple A. Hmm, so it is a little different. I got the batteries in the controller. You guys can probably see, hold on, let me turn this light back off again. So you guys can see the light is on to the controller and we got more lights. So like I said, it's sorry to break, blind you guys, but the light bar here, the two lights here, you have all those lights. Oh, and see, these lights right here just turned white. I mean orange, because they were white. Hmm. That's cool. So you got your reverse lights. Got your brakes, go, brakes, reverse. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so there's something about these things that are uh, irritate me. So these, this, this really irritates me. Um, you can be crawling and you turn, you got your turn signal. Got your turn signal. Let's put it on the back. Check it out. 
this. So I'm actually a little impressed with this thing, guys. I kind of am. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually impressed with it. Just the way it <laughs> sits. Like I'm actually impressed. Let's take this guy out. I'm gonna give it a run. And we're gonna see what it does. What it can do. I don't know how well this is gonna play out. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. So, the 
effect of this, the effect of this thing being so uh, completely metal, the body's just heavy, but it looks good. You gotta make sure you pick your lines right with this thing and go. When they say the G-Wagon is a uh, mall crawler, it's definitely what it is. All right, let's uh, give her a hand here. So the fact that the tires are so small, no, re no real uh, suspension. There we go. Gives it a little hard time for it to go. And there she goes again. This thing's going to get all scratched up. <laughs> but I want to see how this thing can do. You just really got to pick your line with this guy. All right, guys, so there you have it. Let's head back to the office and uh, we'll see what happened with these guys. All right, so we're back in the office, guys, with this thing. And I must say, I am not 100% disappointed.
disappointed with it. Um, it is more gimmicky than, I put you right there. So it is a little more gimmicky than what, you know, compared to this guy. And I wanted to take this guy out to compare it with that. We already all know what the SEX24 can do. This Pinecone model uh, G65, it's not all that bad. Um, the one thing that hurts it a lot is the fact that it's got a full metal body. Now, if you're really looking to get something that you want to take out on the trail and whatnot, you can do it with this. Uh, just don't expect to crawl over anything really big. I mean, it's got a little bit of potential. It's got some type of potential on it, but it's not all that great. Um, upgrading wise, uh, so I tried putting these actual wheels, tried putting these actual wheels on that and they, they won't fit on there at all. Um, I think this is more of a 10 millimeter hex that these wheels are on this thing. Um, so again, this is not a bad rig. I'm actually kind of, it actually kind of impressed me. Um, it actually did kind of impress me with the way it handled itself. Again, the biggest issue that it has, it's cool though, it is cool, but the biggest issue that it has is full metal body on it. But uh, yeah, well, hope you guys enjoyed this review, unboxing of this Pinecone model. Uh, for, again, if you guys are looking at something, you know, run around in the house even. For a hundred bucks, full RC, Everything's fully proportional. The throttle, the steering, everything's all proportional on here. Plus then you get everything opens up. Doors, even the rear door opens up. Hey, there you go. If you wanna get something that's a little more, I would say aggressive. Okay, I would say aggressive, a little more potential. <laughs> has more potential. Definitely the SCX24, but um, you want something just to run around in the house here you go the pineco model you can pick them up on amazon i believe for like 100 bucks uh so if you're looking into anything at 124 scale this is one option hopefully you guys all enjoy this video keep our scene and again happy new year's